pretty little number ten and bar at the quality. Every single day she was up in the stakes to a game that nobody could win. Her kids would stay the night with the neighbors. Mama wouldn't be home until later. We heard she was turning tricks for paper. That was just another Tuesday night in those trailers. Wow. Season 10, episode 25, part 3. Welcome back. <clears throat> oh, that's right. I was up here in Valentine. That's right. That's right. That's right. I was doing uh, illegal missions, as it turns out. How come I don't have any arrows? Wait, no. We hope you've had a wonderful flight. And again, thanks for flying with us. I pre oh, shit. There's a couple people watching. Damn, y'all are up early. What's up? Don, my man. It's good to hear from you, bro. You're awful. Um, why am I here? I am a long way from home.
<laughs> Good morning to you as well. It's been a minute. It has. I've been uh, I've been hiding out at this early time slot, so I I don't hold it against you uh, for not having been around. This is an ungodly hour. It's like 4:55 in the morning my time. So, <coughs> excuse me. As you can tell, I'm not fully awake yet. But I appreciate that you're here, bro. It's good to hear from you. 605 days of followage. Holy crap. That's a lot. Yeah, that's kind of a lot. <laughs> um, okay, so let's strategize here because I'm pretty far away from home. Stupid early. <laughs> that's funny. Stupid early. I know, and the stupid, the even, the even stupider thing is that I have to go to work in like three hours. So I'm up early on a day that I have to put in a, uh, I think I have a 10 hour shift today. So I'm not looking forward to that. But I have the weekend off, and I have Monday off, which is Christmas Day proper. So. I'm I'm a little excited. Got a couple of nice days coming off. Time with the family. Should be good. All right. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm pretty close to where Crips is. So we're going to ride in. We're going to pick up a wagon. Then we're going to go up to Crips. And then we're going to sell off. We're going to sell off what we got, um, make a little money, <clears throat> and then hopefully that's... I, I should have... Let's double check here. Show cash. 700 bucks, 650 Um, You got the firehouse job? Oh, no, bro. No, 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 no. We are way, way premature. We are, uh, I appreciate that. I appreciate that you've been, um, I appreciate that you've been keeping up with what's going on in my life. But, uh, no, unfortunately that's, that's a ways off at the moment. Um, I am still doing the EMT school. Um, I'm working on, uh, advanced life support. And, uh, I'm getting all my certs, but... In order to finish EMT school, I don't know if it's the same. It could be the same nationwide, um, but I have to operate just off of what the California standards are at the moment. And so, uh, again, I'm, I apologize if this is a different. If it's the same standard, you know, nationwide, then I feel silly saying this. But my understanding is that California has a couple of extra steps um, that some other states might not have, um, and that includes clinical hours. So I have to, in addition uh, to taking the class and, uh, and and managing my course load, which I'm doing fairly well right now. Um, I have an A minus um, about a about a quarter of the way through the EMT process right now. I'm, I'm holding down about a about an A minus 92 percent. Um, so I'm doing well, but it's still early. And then once I finish, uh, I believe I have 30, 32 chapters before I can start doing my clinical rotation. And for clinical rotation, I um, yeah, for clinical rotations, I have uh, 24 hours that I have to do uh, split up between... It, that entire 24 hours is split up between three places. It's uh, in the emergency room at a hospital. Um, it's also riding with a uh, EMT unit as a volunteer. And then if I'm not mistaken, uh, the third one has a little bit of flexibility where you could potentially put in for... Uh, what you're specifically looking for. So in my case, um, I'm using EMT as a, a uh, platform to get me up to the fire service. So I would do uh, emergency room, I would do ambulance, and then I would do a, uh, a ride along with the fire station. And then at that time, when I'm doing the ride along with the fire station, that is also when I would be heavily networking uh, to find out which fire departments are, are actually hiring. And in California right now, there is uh, such 
a need for firefighters and paramedics um, that they are they are literally taking people into the fire service that have not graduated the fire academy now my opinion my personal opinion professional opinion depending on how you want to look at it um, as is the case with most law enforcement entities uh, you get hired and then you get sent to the academy that's how in my opinion that's how it should be um, if you're going to, if you're going to invest in a candidate, put them through the entire process, make sure that you vet them. But once they're, once they're vetted, then I, I believe it's the county or the city's responsibility to train that individual. Um, the fire service has not operated like that for many, 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 many years. In fact, it's been so competitive that if you did not have, uh, a fire academy graduation, prior to a p application, they wouldn't even talk to you. Travis, good morning, sir. It's good to see you. So it's weird that just a few years ago, you had to have uh, EMT, you had to have your NREMT taken care of. You also had to have your paramedic license or it be in some stage of getting your paramedic license, which is a whole nother with us. series of day. medical school. Um, and then you also had to have graduation from a fire academy um, before they'd even look at your application. Holy crap, everybody's turning out. Good morning, Jason. So it's been interesting to see um, how the dynamic of uh, the fire service has changed uh, just pretty dramatically in the last like year and a half, maybe two years would probably be stretching it, but there's a lot of the old guard that's retiring and it's creating a ton of vacancies and they're not filling it. And I, this is not me talking, this is the fire guys talking because I actually went to a firehouse and I did a ride along for, I think I was there for probably eight hours. I loved it, I, I did not want to leave. I, I went out on calls, went out on the fire truck with them. I had a fucking blast, it was amazing. It confirmed for me that's exactly what I want to do. But when I was talking to the fire guys, um, <laughs> they were kind of lamenting, like I, I just turned 38 last week um, so I, I feel like I'm on the older side. Um, so I had some, I had some own, my own personal issues, you know, demons, I guess, that I had to kind of battle to get over the hump of feeling like a 38 year old had any fucking business joining the fire department. Um, but I played, I played sports in college. Um, I'm not as in shape as I would like to be. Um, but I could certainly get there. So, um, yeah, at the tender age of 38, I decided to throw my hat in the ring and, and do this. But, um, yeah, it's it's interesting because the guys that are getting out, um, they're pissed. They're pissed that most of the guys that they have to run calls with are very young. And it's no, I mean, I'm not trying to be ageist. I, I got a lot of love for for the younger folks, you know, the, the generation that's coming up right behind me. Which is weird to think because for my whole life, I always thought I was kind of the young kid. But now that I'm starting to get gray hair, my beard's starting to change colors and shit. Um, you know, I'm starting to feel the pressure a little bit of figuring out how to mentor. You know, how to, <laughs> as, my, as my best friend Jason would say, how do I reach these kids? But the, uh, the firefighters are really pissed off that the crop of guys that are coming in, they, they just don't have a lot of life experience, you know. And then how much life experience do you have at 20 years old? You know, no disrespect. You, you, you guys are like a, a heartbreak, a major health complication, some loss, lose a house or two. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you got to get some got to get some seasoning on that steak. Um, but that's what they were saying when I when I was worried about coming in here as the old guy. 38 years old trying to get into a I would say relatively young man's game uh, they were very quick to shut that down and say that I have a lot to offer at 38 that uh, a probate a probationary firefighter at you know 2021 uh, may not necessarily have and so I've I've been I've been filling my cup over and over and over again with that thought of every time I get discouraged and feel like, you know, my knee hurts a little bit today or, you know, my shoulders or my chest are getting a little bit sore because I'm trying to work out parts of my body that I don't normally work out. You know, I, I just try to keep, keep that head on straight, recognize that even though this is a short grind, comparatively, <laughs> compared, to, uh, compared to what trying to be a firefighter in the past was, uh, it's still a grind, but it's a short grind. So I just have to stay diligent, keep my head down, and try to do it. But 
especially around the holidays. Um, you know, my wife is off work. My kids are out of school. I'm still technically working. Um, so it, it makes uh, it makes for a challenging environment to try and get this get this thing done. Oh my God, the physical train they're gonna put you through. You got to be in somewhat decent shape. Yeah, I, I mean it, that's that's all fair. It's it's all fair, and it's different because you know I played. I played Division I uh, college soccer um, on a scholarship. So I, I, played, I played sports at a fairly high level. When I, when I stopped playing soccer, um, I started doing triathlons. And I actually, <laughs> I turned pro for two years and held a national ranking in triathlons. Um, now that doesn't mean shit for fire because basically all I, damn, damn, damn. That was a big ass lightning bolt. Um, being a being a triathlete or a former triathlete doesn't mean shit for fire service because it's all about going you know for a long time anaerobically uh fire is all about brute strength and i've never been much for lifting heavy weights and shit like that so that's gonna be the that's gonna be probably the biggest damn you see that lightning strike that was crazy Holy crap. I'll make sure nobody got struck by lightning just now. That was nuts. This is a great little camp right here. Nobody died? Okay. Dude, this storm is no joke. Hey y'all. Uh, how much can I throw over my shoulder? Bro, that's a weird-ass question. I've never actually, um... I can't say that I've actually measured that yet. Um, I'm doing the... One of the big things I'm working on right now is, uh... Having a weighted vest on and doing uh, stairs because there's a uh, there's an entry level test that I have to manage to do for that. How did or not? But I can um, in preparation for some law enforcement uh, testing that I was going to do back in the day. Um, you know, I can, I can drag about 150. Um, you know, I can't squat and clean that shit yet, but that's that's some of the physical stuff that I'm I'm gonna be working on. Um, I've got a little bit of time before I have to, you know, get into the the seriousness of the physical parts of it. Um, but in any event, it's uh, it's something that I have to be certainly aware of, and I'm I'm being honest when I say I'm not looking forward to it. But uh, there are worse things. Definitely worse things that I could do. All right, I think we got everything we need. I'm going to move that over. And I want to move that over because I don't want to sell those. Actually, wait, no. I have that backwards. All right. So we need to go all the way up to Crips. And we need to offload some of this. And then I need to change my job. That's the whole point of today's stream. I'm going to try and get all this done before I got to get off here. Um, Jason is absolutely fucking killing it right now. Um, he's like Master Trapper. So I'm going to I'm gonna bow out from being a fellow Trapper. There's literally no reason for me to do this. Um, especially if I can bump up to... Bump up to Wagoneer. And then as a Wagoneer, I can... I can compound the stuff that he's doing as a trapper and we can make a lot more money. I can take, I think if, if, if the math is correct, I think I can, I can haul three times what he can as a Wagoneer. That's my understanding. So if he can take, uh, if he can take 50, five zero trading goods uh, from the start, down to the delivery spot then if i'm not mistaken i believe i can take 150 
which would be three times the amount. And that equates to like, like 4,300 bucks. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it moves the needle quite a bit. Uh, the difference that that makes is significant. So I'm gonna try and handle that. And that way the next time I see him, I can provide a, a little value to what we're doing here. Make a little bit more money than we're we're currently making. A little shortcut here. Can you throw dead weight human over your shoulder and walk him out of a building or house? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How you think I get my wife to the bedroom? I'm kidding. <laughs> no, it's um upper body strength has been something that uh i've always been you know soccer triathlons those are not those are not upper body strength sports <laughs> but once i had kids um especially with my sons they're so active and i do so much with them that i've gotten a lot of upper body strength just screwing around and hanging out with them they're like they're boys boys so they they like to wrestle we like to you know go out and do outdoorsy shit so that's been really good for me just to maintain a basic level of fitness to just keep up with them. These motherfuckers just never have, they never run out of batteries, bro. Like, God, they just keep like energy for days, energy reserves for days. And I'm just like, man, I missed that. I need a nap to keep up with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Me caveman, we want snoo snoo. Oh shit. Damn, bro. I came like a weird ass way up here. Okay, chill out, bro. Chill, 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 chill. All right. Time to make a little money. Storage box. All right. I'm going to sell some fox teeth. Mm, I'm going to sell raccoon tooth. Sell some fish. I got possum claw. Wolf heart. I'm going to keep the fur for now. Take that tooth. Take that fish. Take those antlers. Take some skin. Lizard foot. Coyote fur. Bear claw. I'm holding on to these furs. Sell that fish. We'll take those antlers. Um, take that beak. Take those fish. I don't know what to do with this stuff. It's like dirt coins and necklace and shit. Take the snake tooth. Deer heart, 100% animal fat, take the snake skin, elk antler, keeping that fox tooth, feathers, that's going, that's going. Yeah, that's good. <clears throat> Off that, that should be good. All right, what are we working with here? Not as much stuff. Got to go make myself some oatmeal, peaches and cream oatmeal. Good God, Don, calm yourself down. <laughs> <laughs> Handle your business, sir. I'll be here. All right. we have in our bank account. What's up, bro? 238 if I bulk sell it. I 
know I have snake skin. There we go. There we go. Iguana skin. I got some lizard skin. I thought I had some dillos, but I guess I don't. Uh, feathers. Should have some turkey feathers. Is it hawk? It's going to be a flight feather. Okay. $11 on that. Claws. Bucks on buck. Mm. Pronghorn should be good. I only had four. Should be it. All right, that's a good one. Uh, let's see what we got on us. Cool. He said, no, legit, that's the flavor. All right, uh, storage box. All right, we have 190. It's not going to let us take that many, but probably do, I think, 50 is all it'll let me do. If I don't have that Wagoneer job, so we'll see how much that's worth. Yeah, that's quite a bit. 1300 bucks. That's enough to change the job, though. We'll take it. 50 goods. Uh, yeah, it's just going to end up being more, more trips. That's an interesting way to make the tent. I like that. I have to remember that. This is a way easier way down. <laughs> All 
All right, let's make this run, change our job. Let's see what we're working with here. It's so weird to see like a exotic bird just hanging out. lot less stressful to transport this than uh, moonshine, that's for sure. Just dropped my phone off the table, sir. Butterfingers, man. I was holding it and I dropped right off.
Hey, Scotty Thanks Marshall. With us. Have a great day. Supervisor Scotty, what's up? Good morning, sir. You sick and tired of wrapping Christmas presents yet for your 10,000 kids? <laughs> you good father, you. I love it. He's almost done. <laughs> That's funny as hell. I'm just messing with you, but at the same time, that's funny as hell. not eat the sandwich hold up oh he did eat it hold up there it goes that locks in my my food and my water for a little bit longer slow all right now we can hit it let's go 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 get through that water let's go up the hill let's go lightweight lightweight Like, uh, this looks like black water. 
we way more than halfway there. Got about six and a half minutes, and I gotta step out for 30 seconds to rotate some laundry. I gotta get my work stuff. I forgot to wash it last night before I went to bed. Gotta get that work uniform looking good. Look good, feel good, right? Just in case. It's a lot of light. Holy crap. another crossing yeah making good time Oh, shit. Early for the train to be running. That's crazy. Mind my own business. Ain't got shit to do with me. All right. Just about. We're at the top of New Austin. About to go down the long. Um, basically like a freeway off ramp almost. It takes you right down into New Austin. There's New Austin right down, or uh, Armadillo right down there. That city right there. A couple of 
push points along here. Fucking way, bro. Holy crap. Oh, that's terrible. Shit. I'm not sure what just happened, but. This is my blues And cause I'm back down on my own again This is the blues I'm playing Yes, it's a fine old thing When the night is cold and low This is a dollar bill Was it the money that made me a savage? Popping them prices that made it a habit Towing them pistols and serving them addicts That was exciting to me I'm so excited to be Started with nothing, we had to inspire the beat Niggas they fly to me I'm getting to it, feel like the man I got the shooters, they out with the van. Play with the squad, get pile like a sand. Pile like a perk, I'm going here. I'm going crazy on niggas, too waiting for niggas. Do magic like I look a sand. I'm in the kitchen, compressing the bird. Take out a nine and I sell it for 30. The straight to the jeweler, I'm busting the rally. The light of the city, like me, GR3. I got the plug, he's sending my team. Don't know these niggas, these niggas know me. Even though niggas, they call me OG. Young nigga, but I put it down. We was on it when it wasn't round. Niggas wanna come around over there, my J. All right, let's try this again. I can't believe that shit. Right before I'm about to finish the run, and then you decide to have that be the time that you pop my head. Hello, Mr. George. How much you pay for the for the new guy? Twenty bucks? No, too much money. He's no good, no good operator. He's not he, he's not doing nothing. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. That's fucking crazy. Fucking stole that load from me right as I'm about to get down here. Damn. That's some bullshit.
I got an idea. I cannot fucking believe that. sure everything's still on there first. It is, thank God. Oh shit. <laughs> Calm down, Freckles. Calm down. We're fine. We're fine, we're fine. Chill out. Where's that? I think it was a pig, right?
Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Hmm. That's good to know. All right, here we go. Here we go. We bootlegging, baby. We bootlegging. so funny you notice how quiet quiet i get when i'm doing something i know i'm not supposed to <laughs> like focusing on my damn breathing right now because i'm so nervous i don't know what to expect so that's the problem
That's not good. This is a robbery. Oh, they're here for me. Oh, shit. Say again? New Boston Sheriff's Department, stop the wagon. How's it going, sir? I'm doing well. How are you gentlemen doing? Is everything Deputy okay? Carson, yes, sir. Deputy Carson Jordan, New Boston Sheriff's Department. All right. The reason you're being stopped uh, is due to we got a, you know, a report. All right. What are you, uh, where are you coming from today? Uh, I have a camp down in uh, New Austin area. I'm a kerosene okay. maker. Oh, okay. So, uh, what do you, uh, what's the transport in that? Yeah, kerosene for, uh, lanterns. Ah, I see, I see. All right, so where are you taking it to? Uh, I have a delivery scheduled up in, uh, Strawberry. Strawberry, okay. Uh, what's your, what's your name? My name is Kai, Kai Patrick. Mm-hmm. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Mr. Kai Patrick. Yeah, you, you had any, uh, runners with the law? Oh, no, sir. This is actually the first time I've, uh, outside of a city, this is the first time I've, met anybody that uh actually comes out usually i just meet you gentlemen down by the uh in town usually yeah well how long you been uh transporting kerosene uh this is actually my second trip okay okay all right well hell i won't hold you up no more i'll see another reason too so uh you know enjoy your trip stay safe okay okay you too gentlemen good day you have a good day mr patrick you as well ain't no fucking way <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, oh my God. There is no way that I just talked my way out of that. Those guys, I really appreciate that RP. That's really solid work, boys. That's really solid work. Oh my God, I had to come up with that on the spot too. Wow. Transporting kerosene. You I'm just letting you know, this is, uh, I believe, considered a crime on this. All right. Just keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep oh, it going. Okay. All right. It's considered a crime. You just got to watch that cooldown, okay? Say again? It's considered that a crime. The crime cooldown, I believe. Actually, I might be incorrect about that. Okay. Give me a yeah, no, just keep it pushing, though. I'm just, I was just letting you know just in case. So just read the Bible. I'm going to do the same, apparently, since I'm a dumbass. No worries. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, yeah, sir. Stay safe. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> he knew exactly what I was doing and he let it go. That's crazy. That is freaking crazy. That is the coolest cop I have ever seen. Don't abuse the cooldown. You I mean, bro, you got it. I got 4 minutes to get to where I'm going, so I gotta try and beat this damn, uh, this time. Oh my God, that was so fun. <laughs> I can't believe that, I still can't believe that worked.
Oh my god, that's so funny. Dude, they're getting on it though. I, I don't know if I can keep doing this. <laughs> they knew exactly where I was, bro. <clears throat> he said, I don't see any other reason to hold you up. There's no way. There is no way, bro. Oh my gosh. All right, I got three minutes to get up here. can't take it. <laughs> I'm not a good criminal. That was crazy. Good morning, friend. Howdy. Holy crap. Wow. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that is, wow. I talked my way out of a dead to rights, <laughs> fucking dead to rights police stop. That's, that's crazy. That's fucking crazy. Oh, there just went six o'clock. Is there not a server restart happening? Wow, I gotta clip that for sure. Where's the server restart? sit here and drink while you fix me there's the server restart I'm back down on my own again This is the blues I'm playing Yes, it's a fine old thing When the night is cold Is 
dollar bell piece. Was it the money that made me a savage? Popping them person that made it a habit. Towing them pistols and serving them addicts. That was exciting to me. I'm so excited to be. Started with nothing, we had to inspire the beat. Niggas they fly to me. I'm getting to it. Feel like the man. I got the plan. I got the shooters, they out with the van. Play with the squad, get piled like a sand. Piled like a perk. I'm going here. I'm going crazy on niggas. Too wavy for niggas. Do magic like I look a sand. I'm in the kitchen, compressing the bird. Take out the nine and I sell it for 30. Then straight to the jeweler. I'm busting the rally. The light of the city like me, GR3. I got the plug, he sent him on T. Don't know these niggas, these niggas know me. Even though niggas, they call me OG. Young nigga, but I put it down. We was on it when it wasn't round. Side niggas want to come around, stay over there, my J. Do me one favor, take a few steps back. I'm back down on my own again. And look at yourself. Matter of fact, take yourself outside your body and then look at yourself and see how you playing yourself, nigga. This is the blues I'm playing. Congratulations. It's the motherfucking chase. Yes, it's a final you feel me? thing. When the night is cold and low Pay you the plug Try to be real with some niggas and put on my money and show us some love You did me a favor, I knew you was shy, say I knew you would show you was It's only a matter of time for niggas get lying and hit with them slugs Get found in the pool of your blood Yeah, nigga Remember they told me that we'll fail Remember they said it was CSL Dad would that to me like Cam Newton I'm in the feel like the NFL Niggas is sick and I wish them well I made a wish and a wish them well I put a brick in a wish them well Been through some shit and I'm sick of jail No disease but I'm sick of cells Sick of time sending niggas mail Calling niggas just to get a bell I just seen a nigga get a L Never coming home, minute on the phone Sick of time seeing niggas fail Sick of time seeing niggas lose Sending like we trying to get to hell Cause I'm back down on my own again This is the blues I'm playing Alright, we're back. I still can't believe that. Holy crap. You guys... I was hauling moonshine and got stopped by two freaking sheriff's deputies on horseback, both of them with long guns, had me dead to rights, and they're like, what are you hauling? And I'm like, I could not think of a single fucking thing to say, so I just said kerosene. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm pulling kerosene. Uh, I deliver it to the things, you know, for the lanterns and stuff. And they, the guy goes, well... I can't see a reason to hold you up anymore. Like, what? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> what? They let me go. Oh, my God. That, um, apart from doing missions with Bud, that might have been my favorite interaction so far in this, in this county. That was fucking hysterical. I can't wait to clip that. Oh my god, that was so funny. God, that was so funny. Yeah. 
All right, so I'm down to what I got on me. <laughs> the uh, owner of the Shepherd's Watch. Oh, that's cool. You dudes uh, got some bear <laughs> shit on. All right, um, I got to go to Black Blackwater. Damn, I can't believe that's crazy. I still can't believe that happened. Uh, yeah, I got to yeah, go to no, government no. services here. What, two, two days ago? Uh, I still cannot believe that happened. That is just, that does not happen for me. I'm the guy that always gets, uh, always gets messed up with that. All right. Let's go down into Blackwater to see what it, see what it costs to, uh, change this title here see where we're at Zynga was holding that one in. Uh, let's brush you. All right, stay here, Zynga. Somebody behind me. Oh, shoot. I can't even change my job yet. my job before I can go back to school. I have two days left. That's crazy, bro. I didn't know it took that long. <coughs>
forgot to go to the telegraph office too. I think that's right up here. bud. Wagon important, that's where we're going. Oh, I had horns I could have sold. Shoot. Where is it?
You know what I've never done before? I've never taken the boat down there. I wonder if it's possible. Let's find out.
Oh, look at the way the current's grabbing the boat. <clears throat> That's crazy. Oh, it's moving. Look at that. about this area here. That's a vibe. This might not be a good idea. <clears throat> Is that like a waterfall? Uh oh. I believe this is a waterfall. Yep, that's a waterfall. <clears throat> Impressive little boat.
that's the best you got, bro. I know you got something better than that. That's a little bit better. All right, y'all. That's a very interesting stream that we had this morning. So thank you for tuning in. I know it was an early one, but I unfortunately, I have to get off to work. Got a long day ahead of me. Uh, and pray for us because my wife, who is now off of work uh, for the duration of the holiday, uh, my kids, first day being home without school, and it looks like all three of them are not feeling well. <sighs> Such is life. All right, y'all. Stay well. I'll catch you guys on the other side. Peace out. Mama was a pill popping pretty little number ten and bar at the quality. Every single day she was up in the stakes to a game that nobody could win. Her kids would stay the night with the neighbors. Mama wouldn't be home until later. We heard she was turning tricks for paper. That was just another Tuesday night in those trailers. Wow.